UFC Vegas 38. Santos versus Walker is this weekend. Weigh-ins are over. Three people missed weight, but all of the fights will continue. So no drop fights, which is great news for us. I'm going to walk through the monkey knife fight picks and plays. I'm going to give you my insight on the striking lines as well as some of the slates. If you don't know what monkey knife fight is, it is daily fantasy prop games. It's a ton of fun. You basically look at a strike line and you say, yeah, I think this fighter will land more than that. I think this fighter will land less than that. And you can triple your money. You can 25 times your money if you want to string some of those together. If you want to pick a few people that you think will win by knockout, you can make money there as well. Wewantpicks.com slash MKF. Sign up. Promo code WWP gets you an instant deposit match. Use the free money. They give you a $100 match for free. Use the free money. Play these lines. Then you'll be up money. Show goes on. Continue. And it's all sports. We break down fights, but it is all sports. I'm going to jump right to the top here. Let's look at the main event. Vegas is saying one and a half rounds. I think it's over one and a half rounds. I don't like 63 and a half for Tiago Santos. I think that's a little high, but I'm probably going to play them more and more here. Honestly, I think this fight goes a few rounds at least. I think it's a firefight. This is a pretty high line. If you think that there's going to be a knockout, an early knockout, then do the less for sure. I think they go at it. If you watch our betting video, I bet on them to go at it. Um, so I think I'll play them more and more for a solid back and forth war between sort of an aging veteran and uh, a younger up and comer. I like them more and more just to show you what it looks like. You click more, you click more. You say how much you want to play. I usually do $10. I do $10 over 10 fights. I play about a hundred bucks a week. You win some, you lose some, and you end up up money because look, 10 to win 25. You go one and one you're up good money. So let's jump back out. Take a look at a few more of these. We just watched Aspen Lad miss weight, which concerns me. But this is expected to go the distance. This is a hard line. The weight miss really screwed me up because the last time Aspen Lad lost the fight, it's because she missed weight. I think the more and more is still the safe play, but I honestly might do less, less just to get a, a little sprinkle on that side of it because the weight miss is concerning. She has been out for a while with two major knee surgeries, missed weight. You know, she might be gun shy. She might be exhausted. Macy doesn't exactly have power. I liked Aspen to win this fight, but missing weight really screwed me up. So you can leave that one alone or you can sprinkle a little less, less on there just to see what happens. Take a look at Nico versus Alex. I'm going to go less on Nico. I know that he's wild, and this is a really tough fight, but 108 is a lot against a guy as dangerous as Alex. And I know his last opponent, Nico's last opponent, Michelle Pajeda, was also very dangerous. But it was a different kind of dangerous because Alex will light up your legs where Michelle Pajeda doesn't do that. So I actually, I don't split very often, and it's not recommended, but I like the less on Nico and the more on Alex. I do think they go at it. I bet the over on rounds. Alex is, I think, going to use a lot of leg kicks, and those leg kicks will add up. 108 for Nico seems high, so I'm going less on him, more on Alex. And you know what? If they both end up 75, 75, 80, 80, that is a ton of strikes. But this line is so far apart that I am comfortable splitting it because of the gap there. So I'm probably going to jump in. I'm not logged in, so I'll do it after I'm done filming here. I'm going to jump in. I'll do the less more, and I'll throw 10 bucks on that. Let's look at some slates. You guys always talk about, especially if you wait till the end of the week to do these things, the lines move and they get harder. Of course, that's money comes in, the line moves, they get harder. That's how that works. But there are opportunities to fix those really hard lines. One of them da -da -da, is rapid fire. Rapid fire, you triple your money and you just need to pick fighter against fighter. The strike line almost doesn't matter. So do you think Carol Rosa will land more strikes than Casey O'Neill, and Casey O'Neill gets 14 and a half. Oh, man, that's a tough one. Honestly, yes. I think Carol Rosa is the pick there. And then Nico over Aspen, I will go Nico. I know I just said the less on Nico, but that was less than 108. Uh, actually, Aspen's getting 15 and a half. Yeah, I'll go Aspen. She's getting 15 and a half strikes there. So I will go Aspen. Um... Yeah, she's getting 15 and a half strikes. So, you know, if you hated the, as I did, Aspen Lad versus her uh, Macy Chess online, well, now 
you have sort of a different line and a different look. And you can do that also if you start to string some of these together. I like three for threes personally because I can five times my money. And now you have three people, three different lines. And honestly, the less on all three of these is the way to go. $10, the less on all three of these wins you 50 bucks. That's not a bad play. And I should have logged in for recording so that I could play this right now. But I will come back in and do this one. I like that. You know me. Anytime I see the over 100 something, I like the less. And the payouts are so high, it's okay if you miss. It's okay. You just got to hit somewhere else. Let's take a quick look at Knockout Kings, which you know has been a cash cow week in and week out. All you need to do is pick three fighters that you think will win by KO or TKO. I think Alexander Hernandez is solid. Then you can double up the main, or we can come down here and grab somebody else. Gaetano Perillo is probably pretty live for a KO or TKO. Alejandro Perez is live for one, but his long layoff concerns me. And then you can go Holland if you're on that side of it, which I'm not. But I like this one here. I think Alexander Hernandez will get one. And I think the main event, we should get one between those two. If you want, I did a bet the under, or sorry, fight does not go the distance on the, um, where are you? Da -da 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 -da. Come on. Alejandro Perez fight uh, versus um, Johnny Eduardo. So I did, um, maybe that's the play. You know what? That is the play. Because I think there will absolutely be a TKO stoppage in this fight. So pick both sides of it. And then look, if we lock that in, I can do 1.25 times my money, which is 25% net profit. Then I can two and a half times my money or six times my money. I never recommend six times. This is not the card to be looking for two and a half because the main event, it could be a knockout on either side. Kevin Holland could get a knockout, could be handled on the ground. There's so many fights that can go either way here. I like to just 25%, and I always put a little more. Let's say 25%. If you're very confident, put 50, put 100, right? 100 bucks, you get, a, get a nice payout there. It's almost a guarantee. That's why it hits every single week. Let me know what your favorite Knockout Kings is, and you can do multiple, obviously. WeWantPicks.com slash MKF. Promo code WWP will instantly match your deposit up to $100. If you watch me do those videos and you haven't done it yet, just do it. Deposit whatever you're comfortable depositing. Get your free money and play with the free money. It's a ton of fun. It's super easy. And you're using free money. WeWantPicks.com slash MKF. I will see you on Saturday.